Okay, hello again. Um, this is going to be another video in my series of metal videos. Um, I'm going to be doing this one on iridium. Okay, so um, this is a piece of iridium here. Um, it's pretty mini, but uh, that weighs 5 grams, which is actually pretty a lot considering the size of it. Okay, so I'll show you up close. This is the front. Okay. Um, where's a good distance to see? Yeah, it looks just like a shiny little marble. Eh? Like, um, now, um, my boyfriend Tristan uh, got this for me for Christmas, uh, the Christmas that just passed. Um, fucking awesome. Like, uber, uber cool. Um, and, uh, but, like, uh, it came from, like, a scientific place. Like, it's, um, you call it, like, it, it's 99.99, uh, percent pure in that. Like, I have the sheet, uh, it actually came with a sheet, which was, like, a, a spectrographic analysis, where they actually, like, burn a small, small piece that they, like, took off of this, like, scratched from it or something. And, um, uh, depending from the light that is emitted from it, they can tell what atoms are in it, because different atoms, when they burn, create different light, right? And, uh, yeah, so it's, like, 99.99% uh, iridium. Uh, it's really pretty. Uh, I'll try to get it so you can see, like, uber close, but it just it goes blurry, eh? Like, there is cool. It's, like, uber, uber shiny. Um, this is the back. I'll show you the back. Um, I, I crazy glued it onto, um, onto, um, I don't know, what do you call that? Like the setting or, um, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, like just the back for the pendant. Um, I went to like Ardeen's or something and got a pendant and then just re-glued it. I crazy glued it like uber, uber on there. So it hangs pretty cool from the front. I like it. It's very pretty. It looks just like kind of like a pearl eye. Like that's how I would wear it. And, like, I don't have to worry, like, I used to worry, like, I should go to, like, a jeweler and maybe get it, uh, constructed into a pendant. And I still might do that, but it's fine. Like, if I can do this on the table, like, 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 if I can, I can, if I can do all that and, like, toss it around in my hand, like, loosely so that it, like, shakes it around and stuff, then, like, it should be fine, and, like, I can't even pry it off with my fingers, like, I'd have to, like, the metal on the top part would bend before the glue would come off, so, I'm, I'm it's probably fine, eh, like, like, it's fine, I might have to get a new cord soon, though, because <laughs> this cord's, uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the cord's getting kind of, yeah, you can tell there, see, it's kind of, eh, but whatever, I like it a lot. It's really cool. Um, I'll tell you some about some stuff about iridium. After just give me one second to put this thing back on. Yeah, and when I'm wearing it, it looks just it's very um, subtle. Like it just looks like like what's that? Like it's just like a little drop, right? You've seen it up close, and it doesn't even look that much different up close because it's just like a little pearl. Um, it's not a pearl. It's iridium, and I'll tell you about iridium. Um, so it is atomic number 77, uh, the chemical symbol for it is, uh, IR, its atomic weight is, uh, 192.22, doesn't give a unit, so, uh, that doesn't really make that much sense, but if you understand that, then cool. Um, it's, uh, word origin, it's Latin, uh, iris. Uh, like iris, kind of like how you'd say iris if you're like the iris in your eye, like I R I S, uh, means rainbow, um, and it got this name because of the different salts uh, that iridium, like different salts of iridium, are extreme colors ranging through the whole spectrum, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet, all that stuff, like ultraviolet. Well, you can't see that, but maybe if it was under an ultraviolet light. Uh, properties properties of iridium. Um, iridium has a melting point of 2,410 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 4,130 degrees Celsius. A specific gravity of 22.42. Uh, 
and a valence of 3 or 4. Um, it's a member of the platinum family. Iridium is white like platinum, but with a slight yellowish cast. The metal is very hard and brittle, and is the most corrosive resistant metal known. That's pretty cool. That's why I like it, because it won't, it won't rust, like it won't oxidize, like silver, like silver turns black over time. Gold doesn't, platinum doesn't, palladium doesn't, and neither does iridium. Um, iridium is not attacked by acids or aqua regia, but it is attacked by molten salts, including um, sodium chloride. Either iridium or osmium are the densest elements known but data do not allow the selections between the two. Um, now, I've read on lots of places that osmium is a little bit denser, like, but it's like the third or fourth decimal place, or like the fifth decimal place, like, every other number is the same. So, like, they're pretty much the same. And osmium is poisonous, like, if you were to touch osmium, like, if you were to wear it like this, uh, you'd, you'd get sick if you wore it all the time. Uh, iridium is totally non-reactive, and it won't respond to any of the salts or water or anything unless it was a, a molten salt. Uh, uses. Uh, the metal is used for hardening platinum. It is used in crucibles and other applications requ requiring high temperatures. Iridium is combined with osmium to form an alloy that is used in compass bearings and for tipping pens. Iridium is also used for electrical contacts and in, ju in, in the jewelry industry. Sources. Iridium occurs in naturally uncombined or with platinum and other related metals in alluvial deposits. And then I'll, I'll also, because in the previous, in the other video that I was talking about um, with mercury, I talk about its metaphysical properties. So I will also put that in here as well. Whether or not you believe that and or not, whatever, it's still a video on iridium and information on it. And just because you don't believe it doesn't mean there's not information about it. You know what I mean? Like, people who study the Quran and, like, religious things. That's information. Whether or not you, like, find it, like, worthy information. But, yeah, you, that was a good example. So I just did a search on the metaphysical properties of iridium. So I found a website, and it has a whole list of, like, platinum, ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium, plutonium, uranium. It's got a whole list. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'll read to you uh, Iridium. Uh, this is just the metaphysical properties. So it's kind of like what people intuit about that. Now, you, people out there might not understand what that means. But, like, like there are certain people that can, like, just hold an object and, like, know, like, kind of where it came from or, like, the energies around it. Like, especially, like, um, you probably know the examples of, like, like someone saying like they know where something came from or memories associated with it. I don't remember the, the name for that, but it's a certain type of psychic. Um, now that is true for all things. Like even if it's like friggin like this little piece of lighter, it's still made out of metal. It still came from the earth. Everything is from the earth. We are from the earth. Like it's just recognizing energies that are, are kind of like underneath. Uh, so yeah. Iridium is the crucible metal, and it is all about staying true to oneself in changing circumstances or even in hell itself. Iridium is helpful when absolute resolve is required, and through this resolve remaining steady, the environment becomes changed instead. A great seed component of energy magic potions that requires a miracle to bring about a desired outcome. Cool. So it's an, it's uh, to sum that up, uh, I would say that it's kind of a enduring metal. Um, now that would make sense because of all the metals, it's known it's known uh, to be the least corrosive of all of them, which is pretty cool. So that would also explain why people would kind of give it that metaphysical property, right? Well, like gold, for example, is linked to the sun because it's yellow silver is linked to the moon. So yeah, I hope that you have liked my video on iridium, its properties. Uh, I told you a little bit about its chemical properties and about its uh, metaphysical properties. It's pretty interesting and it's, uh, it's one of the rarest elements on the planet uh, other than osmium. Uh, or sorry, uh, well there's a couple that are like 
about the same rarity, but they're all toxic, and I wouldn't want to wear a toxic thing, you know? So, this is the coolest. And also, like, I'm gay, right? And iridium means rainbow, like the name comes from the word rainbow. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, subscribe if you want, comment if you want, do as you will, and uh, peace.